Hello, in this video we're going to talk about uh, some quick use for our electric field function. So I want to plot the electric field and the equipotentials of a cylindrical capacitor. So I've written this function, cylindrical electric field, which, takes, which takes an input of the inner radius, the outer radius, the number of points that we want for each radius, and the charges of these points. So uh, if we ask for more than 25 points, then I'm just going to put it back at 25 because there's a lot of um, points for the computer to handle and it's going to take a really long time and it's going to crash a little bit. So we just, in this function, we want to create uh, the, the vector x, y, and Q that we're going to give to our function electric function so that it plots uh, our cylindrical, cylindrical capacitor. So we want the vector x and y to symbolize two circles. So how do we get um, a vector x and y that symbolizes two circles? First, I've created another function that is circle that gives me one vector y and one vector uh, one vector x and y that are uh, just points of a circle of radius r and it gives me n points using I'll leave this description, it's really easy we define an angle and then the x coordinates just r times co cosinus and then we just are going to call it twice the vector x1 and y1 of the radius 1 and then the vector x2 and y2 of the radius 2 and then we're just going to put together st these two vectors and then it's all done uh, these are the two vectors that I want and the charges I'm going to uh, just uh, de define a, a vector of dimension n and then multiply by the charge then let's just call this function and see what happens. Okay, so here is the result. We can see that mm, our points resemble a circle, and we can zoom in to see the electric field inside the capacitor, and we can see that it's sort of radial, but not completely because we're mm, we have blank spaces, and that we see that also the equipotentials inside the capacitor tend to be circles and you can try this with more and more points and uh, different radius and you will see that th you can play with it so this time I just plot nine points and radius two and four you can see that is correct and then here the program plots the positive charges on the inside and the negative char charges on the outside if you want to f if you wanted to plot the positive charges on the outside instead of calling the function like it did like here radius 2 out of radius 4 9 points on charge 2 you put minus 2 and you'll plot the positive charges on the outside okay so this is all I wanted to show you. I'll leave these codes in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.